Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. How are y'all doing? I love you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this reading, I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. I hope you're doing well. I love you guys. So how are you feeling? How has your week been? How have y'all's week been? Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your likes and shares. I want to say thank you for so much for your prayers. I have been going through a lot uh, as far as um, not feeling good, but uh, I bounce right back up. I bounce right back up, Taurus. <laughs> I love you guys. So let's see what's in your energy, okay? Let's see what's going on in your energy. Is someone having a baby? You found out you're having a baby. You're pregnant. You're going to give birth. Some of you may be getting ready to uh, get proposed to. I feel like there's some unity coming. All right. Um, could be someone in the family. Let's see what's in the energy. Dragonfly is here. Please, everyone, take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. Dragonfly could be very significant for so, for some of y'all, okay? It says, have confidence during this time of great joy. Whether this is a proposal, somebody, a new birth in the family, a baby coming into the family. It says, have confidence to, during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit, okay? So, the dragonfly is very, very significant. So, yeah, a lot of, yeah, lovers is here as well. Taurus, there are two paths ahead. Spirit guys, God wants you to be true to yourself, Taurus. I'm just saying. Be true to yourself. Are you, I think I just had a reading the, uh, the other day about this for you, Taurus. It might have been your sign, but, you know, you got to make a path. You got to make a choice. There's two paths. You can either stay on the path of someone that you know it's time to let go or head towards this joy, success, and all those beautiful things that's for you, okay? You have the phoenix. Is here. I mean, the fire is here. I don't know why I said phoenix. Fire is here. And it says, let go of emotional upheaval. Embrace the renewal of the present. Let go of the past. Let's, 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 let's go get it. Let's stay in the present moment. Even down to love. It's time for new love. It's time for new change. That's if things are not where it's supposed to be by now. Okay? Everything has an expiration date on it. Okay? So, if you've been with somebody, you've been trying to make it work for the longest, for the last past two years, and you still ain't got nowhere. Okay? You're still at the same spot. Okay? It's time to decide which path you want to go on. Period. It's just time. It's time. Okay? Okay? Yeah, everything has an expiration, okay? I don't care what it is. Look at the bottom of the deck, endings. Everything has an expiration date on it, okay? Now, I'm just saying, that's up to you. Just take caution. That if you keep staying at something that you know it is it has expired, what is it going to do when something has expired? If you keep eating on it, if you keep uh, putting it, digesting it into your body, if you keep putting it in your mentalness, if you keep putting it in your thoughts, your mind, your body, and your soul, when something has expired, whether it's food or whatever it is, what happens? What happens is that things begin to get get worse that things start to come against you rather if we're talking food we're talking metaphorically okay things start to get worse it's not getting better you start to you know be depressed stressed out if it's food you start to get sick you start to may even get contaminated you may even be get food poison you know things get worse when it has expired so I feel like some of y'all could be still holding on some to someone or something 
But in this situation, it is a lover that it has expired, Taurus. Okay? Now, you're saying with Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy, we don't go together. We just kind of hook the... It, 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 we just kind of hook up still. It has expired. And then you wonder why you, you don't have any energy. And you wonder why you're nauseated. And you wonder why you're sick on the stomach. And you wonder why you got food poison. Or you wonder why you're stressed out. And you wonder all these wonders. Wonder woman. Wonder man. All these wonders because they have expired. You're still trying to make it work. It's been two plus years for some of y'all. It has expired. Now, that's a path. That's a choice that you have to take. But mind you that this card caution is here. Cautioning you about the side effects. Cautioning you about that little label that we that we supposed to read. Those little fine lines that we supposed to read on the back of a bottle. On the back of the product. On the back of whatever it is. On the back of the contract. On the back of the contract. Be cautious. Very cautious of this. It's there. You can't, you can't, you can't overlook it because this is a bright cone. Be cautious. There is something under this cone that if you run over it, or if you okay keep going, that you're gonna fall down in whatever this is. This could be very detrimental to your health or your mentality. The connection has expired. It's time to have confidence during this great time. Okay, it's time for you to have confidence uh, in yourself. Uh, um, the, this dragonfly is here for your renewal of joy and connection to the spirit. It's time for you to get connected to the spirit. And, and you know, newness. Renew your mind. Renew your mind, body, and your soul. Renew your mind to something new. Renew. You and him, you and her have expired. Y'all have expired. And I feel like you're doing it because your heart, your heart, your, the heart is still in it. Your heart, you, have dis, you haven't disconnected from your heart. And so that makes you not have any opportunities to come towards you. Okay. It makes you not have any opportunities to come towards you. You can't receive messages. You and you can't re receive messages from the angels. And you can't. You don't see angel numbers, or you may be seeing angel numbers and you're not paying them any attention. It's like it's like the spirit guides, God, whoever your uni whoever your higher source has been sending you uh, universal messages, uh, signs, synchronicities, and you're not you're not seeing them. Taurus. I love you guys. Please make sure you realize that there are blessings, lessons, and confirmations in all of my readings. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. They are my teeth. <laughs> They're not fake. <laughs> They're mine. <laughs> okay. For some reason, I just felt somebody say something like, oh, your teeth. They're my teeth. <laughs> okay. No veneers or none of that, because you can see I got a crack. I got a chip tooth right there. So I just felt somebody's energy, uh, somebody saying that. But, uh, yeah, it has expired, darling. Everything has an expiration date on it, Taurus. Everything has an expiration date on it. Spirit guys, tell me more. And Spirit guys is just cautioning you. Okay, they're going to caution again. Pay attention. And it fell right on the caution card. It's going to be detrimental to your health if you continue to, to keep holding on to something that has expired. And it says pay attention. You're being asked to pay close attention to the signs. And I just said it. I just said it. You're being given both subtile ones and the ones that can't be missed. These these signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. Do you want to continue to hold yourself back over someone that you know has expired? I don't care how deep or how good the sex is. 
It's a mental thing. Some of you not leaving because you just love the way he, he lick you. The way she licks you. The way that y'all cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. The way y'all cha-cha. Okay? But baby, it ain't all about that all the time. Taurus, it ain't all about that all the time. Sometimes it's like it's time to renew your mind and get back connected to the spirit, guys. Get back, back in tune with yourself so you can listen and be ready to hear the messages and listen and see the synchronicities that God has been trying to give you that it has expired. Spirit, guys, tell me more for Taurus. Knowing your worth. Knowing your worth. Yeah, knowing your worth. You got to know your worth, baby. And I understand that it's so familiar, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy. I only trust him with my body. I only trust her with my body. It's because it's familiar and I know him and I know it. And that's why I keep going back to it because but but do you not know you keep keep on contaminating your body because you're not allowing yourself to move forward and to heal fully from that person it boils down to knowing your worth and it says you're being asked to honor your worth it can be so easy to feel that we aren't good enough or worthy of happiness this simply isn't the case. However, you are worthy and you have inherent value. It's time to cherish yourself and be true and, and see your true worth. Only reason why a lot of y'all staying in relationships. <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Only reason why a lot of y'all staying in relationships. <coughs> Is because you don't want to be alone. Some of you are afraid of being alone. I'm going to just put it out. Yeah, I said what I said. I said what I said. Some of you are afraid to be by yourself. Some of you just got to have somebody beside you. Some of you got to have somebody in your in your bed. In your, in, you're just, it's just so afraid of being by yourself. When you get reconnected to the spirit within your higher self, learning how to heal that internal side of you, knowing your worth, loving yourself, baby, I promise you, I promise you what you ain't going to miss that. But some of you are afraid of being by yourself. Until you can learn how to sit with yourself, mm, bit my tongue. Until you can learn how to sit in stillness in yourself and know who you are and know your worth. You can't heal from this fully because you keep dapping. You keep staying in something that has already expired. It's expired a long time ago. Honestly, if you want to be honest about the situation as I'm sitting here looking at these cars... And it says fire. You've been through a lot with this person. It says let go of emotional upheal, upheaval. That means, you know, you have your, you know, your uphill. You know, this is an emotional roller coaster. You're in your feelings and, 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 and you're in your feelings and you're feeling high and you're feeling low. And then you, he, he, he come. It's like, you know, you just all over the place. Your feelings all over the place. Because you keep going in the past. And how can you re, how can you get any type of renewal to be in the present moment? If you're not knowing what your what your worth is, listen with your ears. There are messages. I tell my grandbaby that all the time. I've been telling her that ever since she's been going to school three years old. What do you do with your ears? Man, I listen with my ears. And it says, listen, for this change is necessary, Taurus. 1444 just came up on my screen. 444. New beginnings. Listen, you're being asked to listen to your inner voice. It's been guiding you to do something or say something. And it's time to 
act on its wisdom. Some of you haven't been listening to what God's been trying to tell you. And I am your messenger. I am your confirmation. I'm going to be a blessing, a lesson, or a confirmation that it has expired. The person that you keep dapping with, the person that you keep holding on to, it, it, it has ran its course. It has expired. It's time for a change. But this is a path. But Spirit Guys is cautioning you. I want you to pay attention to the signs. You've been getting signs and synchronicities, but you have not been paying attention to them. Because some of you don't want to be alone. You don't want to be alone. You want to have somebody in your presence. It's right here. Change. You're being asked to change a part of yourself that no longer feels like the person you've become or becoming. Change isn't easy. But letting go of this outdated part of yourself will allow you to align with your true self. It's all about true self, true self, true worth, worth, knowing your worth, aligning with yourself, aligning with what you are deserving of. After a while, you keep you keep messing with this expiration date. This expiration, baby, you're going to be sick as a dog. You're going to be so contaminated. You're going to be so depleted. It's going to take you years to bounce back up. The expiration date is saying, God is saying, whoever your higher source is saying, I need you to listen to the small, still voice. Your inner voice is telling you this path that you're trying to, you know, that you're, which decision, which do you want? Do you want to continue to go towards the, the lust of it, the sexualness of it? Or do you want to go on the road of loving yourself and one day meeting someone that's going to love you like you love you? Ain't nobody going, ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to love you like you love you. But you must first see your worth. Whoever I'm talking to. Now, some of you. Uh, you already done experiences. You done healed. I'm talking to the people that's, that's struggling with letting go of people. Or letting go of a lover that you know it has been expired. Everybody's on different timelines. This has already happened. A lot of you have healed. Thank you. Congratulations. Some of you going through this right now. Some of you, you this, is a, this is a path that you're going to have to choose that's coming in your near future. And it's all saying be true to yourself. God is trying to get you to a place that you learn how to be with you. Not with him or her or them or they, but with you. I'm just saying. It's time for you to go towards your happiness. What makes you happy? This person been breadcrumbing you, been treating you less than, and you still keep going back because the love, because the sex, because of all that. See, you know there's a decision to be made. This card, there's a path. When, it, when I talk about the decision, doesn't mean two lovers. Some of you may be two lovers. Some of you, this is just a path. The path of making the decision to let go of an outdated, exp expired uh, connection you've been in and go towards your own happiness. Taking a new leap of faith towards your own happiness. Knowing your worth towards your own happiness. Taking a risk, taking a chance and going towards your own happiness. Having your chin up, your chest out, knowing your worth. That, you know, and that, you know what, Miss Paulson thoughts the energy. It is all... The devil energy, codependent, used to it. It's familiar. You understand? You've been through a lot. Some of you going to follow your heart and you're going to take a leap of faith. Some of you just been all in your head. You've been stressed out about this person that you had some history with. Six, yep, lover that you had some history with. Could have been six months to six years plus. It has expired, darling, sir. Ain't no luck coming out of that. I'm just I'm just saying. Ain't 
ain't no love there. And you know it. You get frustrated a lot with this person. This is a toxic person. This is a toxic situation. It could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, a Gemini, very strong in here, very strong in here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces in here. Uh, but um, sometimes we could be in our own way. Okay? This is someone that you're codependent on. I'm familiar with him. I'm familiar with her. Oh, when I want, you know, if I want to have sex, I can go to him. If I want to have, do you not know you keep, you keep forming some ties. Every time you say, oh, well, even though we, I'm going to go back to him because that's, I, I ain't messing with nobody new. So, but you, you mess with some old that you keep on contaminating yourself because of what's familiar. You feel like, oh, it's okay because I know him. I'm going to keep going back to him until I find someone else. No. This person is going to keep treating you like this. I feel like this is someone that keeps breadcrumbing you and keep talking you into any time that you feel like you want to leave. They talk, he or she talks you out of it. And this is a devil energy. But sometimes we in control of our own decisions. Okay? Okay, yes. This could be someone you codependent. It could be someone that could have been physical uh, abusive. It could have been verbal abusive, some type of codependent. Maybe you took care of this person, took care of you, or da da da, whatever y'all have in common. But sometimes with this devil card, with this chain here, you see you got enough of rope here that you can lift that over your head and get out your own way. You can make your decision to leave or not. You just don't want to be alone. You don't want to be alone. You don't want to sit in your own stillness. Some of you don't even know your worth. But you still want to keep, you still want to keep dapping in expired milk. You still want to keep dapping in, in into contaminated, into contaminated energy. You, and it's key, ain't doing up, but keep contaminating you. you. And you wonder why you're getting sick. And you wonder why your finances ain't right. You wonder why you always argue and fight. You wonder why it is, why it is, why it is. Because you keep stirring up the pot of something that you need to let go of. It has expired. It's time to go. Because do you think it's going to get better? It's not. Because it clearly shows that this person breadcrumbs you, treats you less than. And some of you feel like, oh, you, you, you don't got comfortable off of that type of energy of someone mistreating you like that. And I understand sometimes when you've been in a situation so long for so many years, but it's time to go. And you know it is. You know it is, but some of you don't want to shut the door. And that's your decision. But just know you're going to have to pay the consequences. That's your decision. You're grown. You can do what you want because this person going to keep playing games. They're going to keep playing games in and out, giving you that hot and cold energy. Night of Wands, they still going to be who they are. They still going to be able to come in if they want a food with you and want to get some, some panties, some beef jerkies or some, or some peaches. They're going to come in and get it. Then they're going to vanish out your life again. They're going to keep coming in. Oh, but um, and, and, um, because that's all I know. And he makes me feel like I want to be felt. And she makes me. When all along, you don't know who he's sleeping with or you don't know what she, who she's sleeping with. But because that's familiar, oh, I, I'm going to just let him have it until I find somebody else. And you ain't doing nothing but contaminating your dang old self. And you know what happens? That's how karma forms. Because you still dapping into somebody with somebody that you don't even know who they who they dealing with. So you picking up extra spirits. Because it's clear that they're in and out energy. Now, for some of y'all, y'all say, oh, no, I'm taking a leap of faith. I know my worth. I'm moving on. I'm getting out of here. I'm going towards my happiness. I'm following my my. I'm following my heart. I'm taking a risk on, on, on going towards my what makes me happy. Rest of you, you're not shutting the door because it's familiar. And you know what? What happens when you, you, when you are still dealing with expiration, something that has expired, you're bound to get sick. You're bound to go through something detrimental. You're bound to, I'm telling you, if you don't listen to nothing else I say, you know it's over. You know it's time to go. But you holding on because you don't want to be by yourself. It's time for a change and know your worth. It's time for you to renew your spirit. It's time for you. Something's trying to stop me from saying that. That's the second time I done that. 
time for you to renew your spirit. Time for you to get back in, ta in, ta in, in touch with your inner self. Because God, spirit God has been trying to give you the message for a long time, but you ain't been listening. I am Positive Thoughts and Energy Taurus. I love you guys. And I want nothing but the best for you. And I'm going to try to help you to become your higher version of yourself. But you got to understand that you got to also allow, allow the universe God to get you out of this. Or you got to allow yourself to get out of this. Until next time.